God bless you today, for today is the day the Lord has made. I want to talk about something that the majority of us, if not all of us, have been through. That is, in the beginning of our journey to becoming saved, we believe the devil when he tells us that before we can come to Jesus, we need to clean ourselves up. We need to stop sinning. So we need to use our willpower, our strength and ability to overcome our sins. So then we can be worthy to come to Jesus. I believe Satan has told this lie to every man and woman and child that is in the world. Obviously, it's a lie. It's a lie from Satan. There is no way in the world that we can clean ourselves from sin on our own. Who are we? Who are we that we can overcome sin? Only God can. I did not go to that cross. You did not go to that cross and shed your blood. I did not shed my blood. And even if I did or you did, it would have done nothing. Jesus Christ went to the cross and shed his blood. And what that did was provide forgiveness for those that would believe for all sin, past, present, and future. It's because of what Jesus did that everything is possible. A life of joy, peace, righteousness, holiness, Sanctification, justification. But this can only happen when our faith is in Jesus Christ and crucified. Jesus' blood does the cleansing. It is his blood that paid the price for our sin. So it is his blood alone that can cleanse us from sin. I don't care if you're a drug addict, alcoholic, a murderer, a liar, a thief, a deceiver. I don't care what you are. I don't care what sins you are bound by. If God the Father is drawing you to His Son, if you accept the call, and you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ's blood will cleanse you from the sins. Jesus Christ will deliver you from the bonds of those sins. But only He alone can do that. Because only He alone has paid the price that only He could pay. So the idea that Satan gives us that we must clean ourselves up before we can come to Jesus is beyond foolish. He takes advantage in our lack of knowledge of Jesus Christ and crucified. That's what he does. So understand the devil's a liar. We cannot cleanse ourselves. Don't worry how sinful you are, because when you don't have Jesus, what else are you supposed to be? What else could you be? You're either a sinner or you are saved. If you are a sinner, all you do is sin. That makes sense. Right? Everyone who was ever saved 
was a sinner first, then became saved. So we come as a sinner, and because God has given us the faith and we have accepted it, we become saved. And through that, the blood of Jesus washes away all the sins. They are gone, removed. He does the cleaning. We do the believing. He does the cleaning. We believe in what he did for us at the cross. And as a result of our faith, we get to be cleansed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So never ever think that you can earn something, that you can do something for God with your own ability, your own efforts. Not going to happen. God does not accept such things. Everything must come through Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Everything we do must go through Jesus Christ and Him crucified. It must come from that place. This is the only way. So, I know I've experienced that early on. I know just about everyone has. That's what Satan does. He takes advantage of you when you don't know Jesus Christ and him crucified. And he uses it to his advantage. And I've been there. I know all about it. But he is a liar. So God bless you. And if you have any questions. Do not hesitate to ask anything. Ask. So God bless you, and God willing, I'll see you next time.